The Life of Lucid trial uh, is a further update uh, on what we've seen at a few meetings now. Um, by way of background, uh, this is a cellular therapy. So patients have a bit of melanoma removed. It's processed in the lab. The T cells are stimulated, uh, rejuvenated, and then given back to the patient after they've had um, some chemotherapy. And then they get interleukin-2 at the same time. So what's important, I think, about the trial is that this is a group of patients who've had treatment with immunotherapy checkpoint inhibitors and targeted therapy as well, if BRAF mutant. So the outcomes in this group of patients with kind of standard options are pretty poor overall. And the headline um, for this treatment is that there's a response rate of around about 35, 36%, which is basically impressive. We've known that for a while. And then the data that we're presenting at ASCO uh, is actually about duration of response. So uh, that's distinct from the chance of responding in the first place, which I've just mentioned to you. And what we're showing uh, in terms of duration of response is that there seems to be a relationship with how much anti-PD-1 treatment you've previously had. In other words, if you've had less prior anti-PD-1 treatment, it doesn't change the chance of response, but it means that the duration of response is potentially longer. So I can't explain why that's the case, but it's an interesting finding. And in multivariate analysis, that was really the only thing that came up apart from LDH, which is an extremely well-established um, prognostic factor. So, so it's interesting. It's not an approved treatment um, at the moment. Um, but the nice thing about this is that people have been doing cellular therapies for a long time now. And it's quite a, an involved treatment um, from the patient perspective. But the idea that you can remove some melanoma with surgery, and we're talking about sort of something that's one or one and a half centimetres in size, send it off to a central lab for processing and then give it back to the patient three weeks later, that, that short timeline is quite impressive because many of the sort of other cellular therapies that the time required is longer than that. And if the patients are sick, obviously that's an issue.